The following trailer is rated H for honest. From the developers of Carmageddon and more Xena games than should have been allowed, comes a superhero game so incredibly awful, it should become legend as one of the worst video games of all time. Superman 64. Enter the crudely geometric world of Bizarro Metropolis, where everything is terrible, and take on the role of one of DC Comics' greatest champions. In a world where all of his godlike powers are reduced to petty gimmicks, and he's forced to fly through ring after ring like a circus animal, in the most depressing depiction of Superman since Superman 3. What are you looking at? Huh? Get ready to pluck the cherry off the top of the garbage cake that is licensed video gaming. As you put aside your better judgment and the advice of literally everyone, and dive into a superhero game that was somehow worse than all of the other shovelware superhero games combined, but still made lots of money when it came out despite everyone hating it, making it basically the Batman v Superman of video games, and experience design choices so awful that people only remember the game at all because YouTubers like to sh** it, which, uh, suits us just fine. Superman 64 sucks, like and subscribe. Descend into a polygonal nightmare universe that looks like garbage even by the incredibly low standards of the N64, where instead of using his powers to vanquish evildoers, Superman must complete a bunch of inane and nonsensical tasks under strict time limits in a video game experience so diabolical it could only have been designed by Lex Luthor himself. <laughs> and what is also actually the plot of the game. In short time, your fate will be sealed, Superman which is super meta and all, but it doesn't stop the gameplay from being worse than actual torture. Experience a control scheme clearly designed by people who hate fun and anyone who has ever had it, as Superman erratically pitches around like he's done some super whippets and seizes through the sky as he futilely attempt to fly through a bunch of floating rings suspended in a sea of fart gas. In a reskin of pilot wings that's so messed up, even the guy who recorded the demo couldn't do it right. After you struggle past the impossible ring section, take on the many other basically unplayable gameplay modes of Superman 64, such as combat, where you'll flail your arms around like a third grader in a playground fight, and take out a bunch of enemies by flying into them like an idiot, escort, where you chaperone police vehicles, skateboards, and babies to the goal, while being shot at by guns and missile launchers, and generally just throw stuff around with no regard for safety or property damage and puzzle solving, where the greatest challenge of all is to figure out what the puzzle even is. None of which you'll see anyway, because you can't get through the f***ing rings. So squeeze into your red undies and get ready to stay as far away from this game as physically possible, because even in a parody trailer, friends don't let friends play Superman 64. Starring Super Illegal Immigrant Super Liability, Ginger Vitus, The Human Condom, Ronda Rousey, The Energizer Bunny, Urban Thing, and Dr. Evil, DC Flight Simulator 64. At least the designers got one thing right, making everything explode. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Game Trailers, and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. You face Jaraxxus. Eridor, Lord of the Burning Legion. I like my loot, how I like my steak. Rare. Respawn time is enough to make a baby. The Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. It's better than nothing.